Yo, 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 what is going on everyone, it's TK, and on today's video we're going to dive into CWL day one with the super bar strategy. Of course, we have the root traders in this strategy as always, and we're going to go ahead and see what base I flagged. We're here and I flagged this number 13 base, so we're going to go ahead and show you the plan. Now, I'm going to drop some loons here, then a few rocket loons as well, so they go in and take this stuff, like just test it maybe, and then with a blimp to go ahead here, and then I'm going to clone at the same area so we get the best value. I might actually end up cloning a bit higher so we can get something from this side as well, because if you know we shoot the queen, we could get the inferno tower and that would be a huge advantage so then we can have a nice angle going here and i'm gonna take the one clone super archer because it's a lot more efficient when i want to have three archers on this side you know it's not gonna be messy it's gonna be very nice drop and i don't need a free spell for example for sweepers or any other thing then we can of course go around the base add few important barbarians to these defenses which are on the outside and that could take our root riders and you know just pull them to the outside and that is basically for the plan nothing too crazy and then we can go ahead and watch some of my friends and teammates attacking with some insane strategies we are live let's go ahead take the blimp and i always tell my students and viewers that make sure you know how to attack with one clone as well because it's really good for example on these bases where you need efficiency so let's go ahead with the archer i'm um, sorry barbarian here and then we're gonna go ahead with these loons one more loon a bit angle let's go with angled rocket loons then the blimp another angle rocket loon for the scatter shot nice 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 we're gonna go ahead let's make sure everything is invisible first now these goblins have to take out that and then they can move on let's go with another invisibility and then the clone now you can see the clone three archers on the right side simple as that so nothing too crazy they're not all over the place i'm gonna make sure the king is invisible for now because i want a better angle for the king let's go ahead with the rage now for the next thing is i'm gonna make sure the king is visible so we can shoot it and get the monolith this is my whole goal look at that beautiful the archers managed to get the queen and the rage tower but not the inferno now that is not the end of the world okay let's pull the cc come on uh, this is a weird CC which we need to use the Titan and um, yeah, because otherwise the looms will keep killing our barbarians We can't really do much about that. Let's go ahead with the Titan archer and then this we can kill that Tesla real quick And then let's start we're gonna go ahead with the ground warden I was actually with the king of the hill which made me have the air warden for the Lalo But we need that cannon down. Let's go ahead with that root rider one more barbarian Make sure the king doesn't go to the outside. We drop the queen as well. Sometimes guys I forget the queen Okay, it's not my fault. Yeah, the queen is a uh, really a tough hero man now the root rider is going in king it's going out not the end of the world queen can follow behind but I'm not sure if she will uh, okay, she is. Let's pop that. I didn't get the king and his ability with the, you know, bug. It doesn't matter. We have the earthquake, which will help us eventually in the base, hopefully. Let's go ahead with double or triple or four, actually, headhunter. I could have actually taken a lot less headhunters because this area is being a bit weird. Now, of course, we're going to take out the royal champion. Let's funnel the king back into the exo so he doesn't go out. We have the single on the queen. That is a problem. Let's drop the champion. Uh, I didn't take that. Okay, queen is coming back. Wait. Oh, I didn't see this wall was open or it was broken. I don't even know. Let's pop the king. We didn't open that wall. I really wanted to pop the king a bit later. Okay. Let's see. Champion, what can you do? Can we tank this warden tower for the back end? Nice. I think that should be decent amount of minions. Queen with healer is doing an amazing job. This is why I love the healers. Um, and let's see. With the champion ability, we should be able to get this. Nice. Got the triple. And we did pretty decent in this war, I'm not gonna lie. Only two fails, which I really wish we wouldn't fail. Just because we could have had a perfect war on the first, uh, well, day, day one CWO. And let's go ahead and see a few of my friends attack, because I think it was yeah, Ashik. One of the best Super Dragon players that I've seen personally, and he plays with me in, in Forum Titan. And it's insane how this guy just plans the, you know, Super Dragon and absolutely demolish a base in one minute. So let's go ahead and see what he did. 
Flame Flinger, I believe that's for the air defense. Nice giant. He loves to take that. I think I've seen him before taking a giant. And you can see it's good to tank a mortar. Few Raccoons for the top air defense, which then gives him a nice funnel into the Monolith, Eagle, and Clan Castle. This is an insane start, especially when you have to only deal with one sweeper, which he can freeze at the same time as freezing Town Hall and Multi Archer Tower. Insane amount of value. Now, let's go ahead and see if he's going to use the Baby Dragon here. Oh, did he want the Archer there? Yeah, I think he wanted the Archer on the Army Camp. Baby Dragon to funnel the heroes, the Giant still on the wall. I think maybe he's gonna start now I'm not sure how much time he gave his flame flinger but I've heard from my other friend Amir Azad. he says one minute is enough so let's see okay that rage tower maybe is not the best why did he not invest skellies I think he forgot not sure but he's keeping the warden ability for now he might pop it on this yup super dragon it was going down CC comes out a few archers that is most likely a mass rocket on CC. I'm not even gonna lie because yeah, Lava Hound, only three archers, I don't know. It's probably like an uh, Ice Golem maybe, but Ice Golem you still have five, you know, archers. This is probably a mass rocket on CC, but we're gonna go ahead with that Freeze, Rage, and the Warden ability was the Healing Tome. Insane amount of value that it can give your dragons when you're going into the town hall poison, especially on some box spaces or something. Now, I'm not sure why he did it on this one. Maybe his healing ability, yo, of course, is 18. Nice. King on the outside, he has probably the rage. Um, oh, I was gonna say rage and gauntlet, but he doesn't have the gauntlet. Now, I don't know if he doesn't have it on this account or he doesn't use it with the super dragons. The super dragons are dying out by the way now this is where the flame flinger king and queen with the royal champion and those skelly spells can finish off the base you can see around 30 percent was where the super dragons died 30 percent at the end of course of the attack and with the champion and the fox he can literally crush this base so hard and it's insane man i again didn't see how long the attack was but it does seem like a quick one i'm not gonna lie Champion ability, very nice and very good attack by Ashik. Let's go ahead and see some Queen Charge Lalo or maybe even some Zap Lalo. We are here and Danny is attacking with some Zap Lalo. Now, he's a good Lalo attacker in general. I think his main army in Queen is Queen Charge, but when he sees a ring base, I think it's just a lot better to kind of Zap Lalo it. But let's see what his plan is. Okay, he's gonna go ahead with a Queen and i would say full sui on an area where there is not much damage because imagine if he started the sui into this area two expos ricochet cannon queen and the scatter shot with the cc pool it's insane amount of damage so he's going in where there's only a multi inferno and maybe a multi archer tower which he has ice golem for so decent starts that wall breaker i think should have targeted this right there's nothing behind that wall I don't know that's a good wall break is he gonna make it come on come on come on he made it and it was a decent wall break now oh yup that is what i was gonna say the queen is going to the outside and this could be an issue i don't know if he planned to get the town hall with his queen but maybe he did and that means he now has to blimp the town hall so let's see what he does he pulled the poison this is most important what he was waiting for then he can start the lalo now very nicely so he doesn't have to care about the poison rockaloon cc comes out with the ice golem very nice poison for the king and all the cc queen is getting the eagle which is so good and then now with the lalo oh my god holy lalo how many loons did he drop in front of that inferno Headhunters, Blimp, and the Warden ability. Now, he has to deal with one Sweeper. Does he go for a Freeze? He doesn't, but I think he should because, yeah, he's going in with a Freeze. Nice. And now you can see we have Ground Expos. We have Ricochet Cannon and Wizard Towers to defend this base. So, most important parts were the Inferno Towers and the Multi Archer Towers that he zapped and the sui so this is the way to plan for a zap lolo attack on a ring base when you're dealing with it because it can literally save a lot of loons for the back end for you and you can see how crushing this attack is with a swag freeze so nice attack danny and i mean hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna bring see that little day two maybe tomorrow or the day after but let me know if you want to see more maybe whatever army you want me to try i could try it out on other clans because on this one we are going for a nice rank but hopefully you enjoyed it again see you soon tomorrow with the next video take care and peace